Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine and welcome. I have a real treat in store for you today, so I do hope that you will stay tuned. But can you believe it's day 20 of Vlogmas already? Um, I thought we'd come in the kitchen for a change and be a little bit festive in here. Yes, um, I am going to do a very short little bit here because the rest of the video, if you've clicked on already, is quite long. Here is day 20. It feels quite a, ooh, 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 yes. I don't know if I'll be able to read the joke in this light, but gosh, this looks interesting. You've got a great big sheet here. <gasps> oh my goodness, that is so lovely. <gasps> if I hold this up for you, I'll come back tomorrow in the daylight, but I'm just so behind. Look at this. Oh, that's like the card I made yesterday with seedless preserves and chipped sapphire, isn't it? Oh, so we've got that lovely piece of fabric. It says, mind you, I don't know whether I like those colours on it. It says, we hope you enjoyed stitching your embroidery bauble yesterday. I haven't even started. I haven't finished number one. Um, today's goodies include a beautiful printed calico and extra threads so you can practice more embroidery stitches well i've got some really nice threads in my stash these colors i'll show you in the daylight tomorrow these colors don't go with the fabric but the fabric is beautiful and it's got a chart here with lots of different stitches so we've got lazy daisy stem stitch bullion knot all kinds I'll, I'll show you tomorrow when we've got a bit more time in the daylight yesterday's joke was how do snowmen greet each other and the answer is it's ice to meet you today's joke <laughs> i can't read the answer so you'll definitely have to come back tomorrow what does a baby snowman call his dad? Come back tomorrow to find out. Now, earlier today, my friend Katie came and I'd like to leave a comment down below whether you think she should come back. And I think she should. I think she'd be really good fun on a live. Um, we had some Prosecco. This is what is left. And um, we tasted some snacks so that you don't have to and we talked about the christmas wreaths she made for me so it's quite a long video but i hope you'll do a job like some ironing no don't do any ironing i hope you'll do something nice like some stitching or some knitting or some paper crafting while you listen to katie and i talk about what our favorite snacks this isn't a clue by the way our favorite festive snacks are so Kate is here, we're getting ready to taste some crisps. We are getting ready to taste some crisps, but she's made me... She's a duck. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm only five foot two. She's I'm five foot ten. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, she's made a wreath for me. I'll, I'll switch you over so you can see. So Katie has made this wreath and we're just deciding what else is going to go on it. So we have bubbles. And we've got different types of ribbon. So I decided that rather than pick, you know, this is my bag of tricks, I'd let Ashley add the extra bits. So we have stars, lots of stars. Oh my I know. And where'd yeah, you get all these from? All over the place. So my latest ribbon, so this at the moment is one of my favourites, the pom pommy one. So these ones, um these ones, <gasps> I think they're actually made in India. India. Is it Easter? Uh, India? No, they're just handcrafted oh. in India. But they um, these are my favourites at the moment. These are we're only three ninety nine each, but you get um, four and a half meters for each, oh. so it works out quite economical, you know. So yeah, these are my favourites at the moment. Um, but these were TK Maxx or Home oh. Home Sense. Mm. But then yeah, I've got loads of different ones. Like obviously, Ashley isn't a pink sparkly person, but there is. Uh, this is a, another one Ooh, from TK Maxx, nice. which be is nice gold. For wrapping presents. Yeah, it's really nice for wrapping presents. This is a German one, but these German ones are really good. You get 20 meters on a roll. 
so they're what? only two ninety nine, a two twenty nine from TK Maxx. That's really good. So if you get Recently. them on, yeah, literally about a week ago. But you have now. to rummage. So um, they're on, they're on the shelf. Upstairs. You might, uh, no, downstairs in Home Sense, but you might have to stretch Ashley because it was on the top shelf. <laughs> all right, all right. Ripping it in. Oh, I like one. this one. This one's nice. Yeah. Um, but that's um, that's a German one as well. We've got a grey. Well, we need to decide what we're going to put on this. Maybe yeah. we need to get tested. Well, I've even got a needle felt one, which I thought was cute. Ooh, but I you like might that. not be able to see it very well because... It hasn't got the backing. It's like just that one side with the stars. Hello. But you could do that and you could do, you could double up and yeah. do two and a... A little bit of red maybe or yeah. red or gold. Um, gold and green. Gold and green I think would be nice to keep, keep with the kind yeah. of The other thing. one I'm really into at the moment is this dark burnt orange. That's a hobby craft. Oh, that could be quite nice with the Yeah, with the orange segments, segments and the purpley berries. Yeah, that's nice. Very um, classy. Look good against our dark door. Yeah, well that's what I was thinking because you've got dark door. I have got gold but I think that's too blingy. Um, but also we can put the feathers in. Yeah. So I think the feathers with the orange would look nice. Cool. But you, we could do orange and pom green pom-poms. Oh. Well, I'm going to let you play. I think orange and green pom-poms and whatever else you think needs to go on it. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to start putting some things in bowls. Yeah. And we'll be back soon. So we've I've put everything into bowls and we're going to have a little a little munch mm -hmm. and um we're going to give a score out of 10 for each one and not tell each other until we've tasted it but i just want to show you this is going to go on the front door but katie has done my wreath there it is it looks quite nice against the green of my kitchen doesn't it but it's going to go on the front door i love that burnt orange it's very very clever very nice mm -hmm. so got no idea what order we're going to taste these in have we katie no nope. but we do have a little glass of prosesco so cheers, cheers. Mm. and i might have to take these off my mum had got some something like this on in the care home and it kept falling off so i understand why now anyway mm. Mm. we have some savory stuff and Can we have some savory? kind of sweet savoury stuff so we're going to start mm. savoury savoury first what do you fancy I don't know. should we go turk and herb right so this is tusco finest turk roast turkey roast turkey and herb and they're limited edition yes right go on then okay right don't know looking at my score right make a note of what it is mm. i'm covering my um page like you're gonna cheat I'm putting two yeah, for Tesco's finest roast turkey. Mm. Right. Might have to have another, another taste. One. Roast <laughs> turkey and herb butter. Mm. Right, so mm. let's have a little think about whether they've got that roast turkey flavour. Mm. Mm. Can you taste the stuff in? There's no stuff in. There's meant to be herb butter. Oh, I herb can't butter. taste the herbs. I think they. Do you know what they remind me of? They remind me of the Walker's chicken, but a thicker crisp. You know, like a kettle mm. chip. Do you know what I mean? Can't distinguish any difference between no turkey and chicken. No, no. And I can't taste the herb butter. They're nice though. They're really nice. Mm. But yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Are we giving out a 10? Yep. Okay. I'm on it. We'll use my napkin. Right. Okay. Are we saying our score now? Or would you like to wait till the end? What do you think? Comment down below. Mm. It's no good because you... No, yeah. you're not live. <laughs> we'll put those to one okay. side. I think we should do it now. Because we're yeah. going to forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've got about 10 million. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what... Oh! <laughs> things people and Ashley's just knocked her balls onto the floor oh dear. I think they're cheesy ones I think we need to try these ones next no they're not but it's on a okay. maybe stuffing. we need a Prosecco oh. cleanse Prosecco cleanse palate cleanse mm. palate cleanse so, okay we're going to compare the two turkeys so this is a different crisp 
snack right. This is Aldi. snack right. Turkey. That's Aldi. And isn't stuffing it? balls. The balls. Turkey and stuffing balls. Oh, where are they? Them. The little fluff well, balls. They're hiding. Right. It's a good job you've got a phone with long arms. Aldi. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Aldi. Right. Stuffing balls. You just got you got to set balls. T and S balls. <laughs> right. Have you had one yet? No. Right. Go on, then. Go on. I'm going. Oh my god. Really strong. <laughs> <laughs> Your bells are jingling now. You drop your balls and now your bells are jingling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is what happens when we get together. It descends to chaos. Right. right I'm going to try one more ball. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Very synthetic. And they've got like, they're really powdery. So when you put them on your, your in your mouth, they're quite claggy. Yeah. And then they're very squishy to eat. Yeah. I don't mm. dislike the texture, but. Mm. A bit weird. Mm. They're a bit weird. Mr. Paper and Twine's just come in. Hold on. Sorry, number one daughter was on the phone asking yeah. cheese questions. Cheese questions yes. Anyway, cheese. I've just had another one of these and actually on second tasting, they're not quite as bad. I think the aftertaste is better than the initial taste. Mm. Yeah. They were grower. Have we given a score? Yeah. What we given? Okay. So, oh, did you say for the first one what the score No, was? we didn't say. So no. we were going to compare the turkeys. So... My first turkey, Tesco Finest, I actually quite like the texture, mm. even though I think they're more chicken and I couldn't mm. taste the herbs. So I gave a seven. Oh. The turkey and stuffing balls, I didn't like it when I first put it in my mouth. I was like, mm. it's, it's the powdery-ness. And like Ashley said, it's a bit synthetic. So I gave them a five. Oh, you're more generous than me. The first ones I gave six because I thought, why call them turkey when really and they've probably the used the same flavouring. Chickens, yeah. And then the balls I've given four, oh. two. Right, next okay. on the... I feel like we're, you know, like we were back we're back to like when we were at school when we were like, um, what do they call it, standardising? Yeah. Like moderation yeah, with our yeah, exam papers. Yeah. So are right. we going, are we going to... Are we going to go hams? Oh, should we compare the hams? What's that one? Oh, this pigs is in pigs blanket. in blanket, oh. crinkle, and like Tesco crinkle. finest, mm. limited edition. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating I'm going to like this one. So this right. was pigs in bees. Mm. Right. Mm. Oh, nice crunch. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But is it any different from... The flat ones, the turkey. Or no, is it any different flavouring than the smoky bacon? Or is it is it sausagey and bacony? I think when I first put it in my mouth, I thought it was almost vinegary. It's got a little bit more of a. Mm. It's, it's it got like a tangy mustard. Yeah, maybe it's the mustard. I wouldn't say it's your bacon. You know, like your Walker's bacon crisps. Mm. But then I wouldn't necessarily. It's pigs in blankets. You know, if someone gave me yeah, that and yeah. said, what what flavour is that? I'd say meat and maybe pork or ham. Yeah. But I don't think I'd say pigs, pigs in blankets. So, but I like the, I like the, the, the yeah. crunch. The, they're nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's okay. that one. Yeah. So we've got... Come on. This, oh, we got pigs in blankets. Yeah, pigs in blankets. There we go. You can have your own packet. Ooh. Gosh, they're really big crisps as well. Check that one out. Ooh. But again, are they any different from mm. smoky bacon? And how do these compare with the Tesco Finest? They are big. Really big. I think they're like fruitier than your normal smoky bacon. They definitely taste more like sausages than bacon. They're different to the Tesco yeah, really ones, different. aren't they? Mm. Mm. I quite like this one. It's like a Cumberland sausage flavour. You mm. can taste seasoning, can't you? Definitely. Mm. Those aren't those aren't unpleasant at all. No. Mm. Mm. I saved them. 
Mm. For a minute. So, okay. mm, I might change that score, actually. <laughs> okay. I'm okay, I'm on. Right. Okay. Right. Do you want to go first? Or shall I go first? Yeah, okay. Go on. So, um, the cream cup, nice, thick, good crunch. Yeah, I like the crunch. Nice flavour. Gave a 7 out of 10. And then the Walkers Pigs in Blankets are very nice. Mm. Very nice with a little bit of fizz. Mm. Um, and I think you can taste the different components. Mm, definitely. Both well seasoned. I've got a real hit of mustard with the Tesco and finest ones. Yeah. Um, and I've given those ones eight. So mm -hmm. seven for the Tesco finest, eight for the Walkers. Ah, so we're really similar. We're on a similar path. Um, so Tesco, Tesco finest Pigs in Blankets, I went for a seven initially and then I just knocked it down to six. Just because the Walkers ones had a nicer flavour. <laughs> I started at six and knocked it up to seven because I felt it'd be a bit mean. So yeah, so we, we balance each other out every week. Anyway, and then Walkers Pigs in Blankets, I was going to give it them an eight and then I thought it was being a bit harsh. So I was going to, then I moved it up to 8.5. Oh, I, did I didn't half. know you could do half marks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just All did right. half. Because I could keep on eating that pack. Yeah, well, you can. Well, yeah, I can. That's why I've given you round. But I've only got one Christmas pudding, one left. Do you want to do... The beef well, Let's do the beef. We'll do the meaty ones. Or should we do camembert, honey and rosemary next? Well, let's do, do beef. beef. Let's do beef because then we can move on to Christmas pudding and then do this. Okay. So these are the Walker's Festive Edition Sensations Beef Wellington. And I, when I saw this packet, I was actually quite excited. I've never heard of a beef Wellington crisp before. Mmm. So, mm. Beef well. Walker's. So... A thicker than your standard crisp. Hmm. Um, oh, they are. Ooh, they're very beefy. No, mm. that's interesting. Like a slow cooked beef, not normal beef, not like beef and onion. I think you need to kind of hmm, let it kind of chew on your tongue, yeah. as it were. Melt a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. They're not my favourite. Well, I wish we could combine them. Like the texture of the Tesco Finest ham, that crinkle cut, with the flavour yeah. the flavour of the Walkers. Potato. Yeah, that would be quite nice as a crinkle. Actually, mm. I like um, salt. Me too. But these are a bit salty for me. Yeah, I think after a while, when you have the initial beef taste, they're nice, but then after you've had a few, your palate is just really salty. So I definitely do need a Prosecco cleanse. Definitely. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. To move you. Mm -hmm. Can you put them right at the end of the table with their yeah. bags that we know we've done? And um, then we'll do the do Christmas pudding. pudding. I'm a bit worried about this one. Ooh, I hope they're not too fruity. Right, I need to give a score for walkers. Oh yeah, we, have, mm. we need to share our scores. Mm. Okay, I'm going for a seven. I like the flavour of the beef. They're nice, got a nice crunch. But maybe I should have knocked that down to 6.5. I went to six and a half. Now yeah. I'm only doing half marks. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Christmas, Christmas pudding. pudding. Now, I will divulge that I've had these already and I do like them. Sweet and spice. Not too sure. Ooh, they do actually smell puddingy or mince pie. I really like those. I think it's a very complex flavour. Hmm. Um, very raisiny. All right. Something a bit different. Hmm. I think it's like raisins or my thing of like your mince meat mixed with mince mm. pies. Yeah. Hmm. But almost like a little bit jammy as well, like a bit figgy. Or... Yeah. I really, really like those. It's really tough. Mm. Mm. They're okay. I wouldn't say they're my fave. At the moment, pigs in blankets, the water pigs in blankets are my fave. Are these your fave? Yeah, so far. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Are we doing the score for this one? Yeah. Or are we going to match? Okay, I've got 7.5 for this one. I've got a 9. Mm. She really likes them. They're nice, yeah. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out my way to buy them. Ooh, so camembert now. So this is again Tesco's finest. 
um, camembert honey and rosemary limited edition made with French mm. camembert. Not any How can camembert. you tell whether it's a French or an English camembert? Is it stronger? No idea. Does it have an accent? I don't know. It might have an accent. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 That's a good sound. Mm. Mm. Oh. What are they called again? Tesco Finest Camembert and honey. I think I can taste the honey, you know. Mmm. Mm. I like those. I like those but too. You see, I like a mixture of sweet and savoury and not everybody does. Do you know what would be your favourite bowl of crisps? Is if you mixed those Christmas pudding ones with those ones. So you'd had a hit of cheese and then a hit of the sweet. Mmm. Like a, like a proper sweet and sour. Mm. I think these are quite nice. I do too. I don't normally like cheese and onion, but you can taste that this is more of a, a soft cheese, like a camembert it's, yeah, cheese. Just um, say um, mm. rosemary. Mm. They're not too I cheesy. I can't say that I can taste any rosemary. No, I can't taste the rosemary. I can taste but the honey are, though. They are quite cheesy and there's like a, mm. a soft sweetness. Yeah, I think mean, that's the honey, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, not mm. bad. Mm. Okay. Right. Right. Are we sharing on these yep. ones? Or are we going? I've got eight. Same. Oh. Okay. Same. Right. Now we've got one more savoury. We're going cheese balls. Oh no, I've got. Ooh. Oh yeah, I've got cheese balls as well. Mm. Now. Got these. Because you can't have Christmas without a Christmas shaped snack, can you? But mm. these are called treeslets. Treeslets. Oh. Oven baked. So, Maybe slightly healthier than some of the other ones we've eaten. Right, so it's Jacob. Oh, we need the other nuts as well, don't we? Jacob trees. I'm just going to put Jacob trees. Right, have a tree. Look, thanks. They are cute, look. Hmm. I just want to throw it in and eat them. Hmm. They taste nice. They're like. They're like mini ones. cheddars, aren't they? Mm. Are they made ones? by Jacobs? Mini cheddars? I think so. You used to be able to get some of the shapes that were cheesy as well from Jacobs. I can't, they just remind me of those, but I can't remember what they're called. Hmm. They've got quite a nice aftertaste. Mm. Buttery. And um, a good crunch. They're very small though. They are small. When you compare but then that, sometimes you want a dainty snack. Yeah. If you eat if the you, whole pack. If you're in a high end venue, mm. you want a dainty snack. Mm. Right. Um, mm. Mm, but they're nothing special. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What are we giving them? Right. So the camembert, honey and rosemary. I went for an eight, the Tesco finest. Then these Jacob cheese okay. treelets, or che treeslets, I've gone 6.5. I've gone six. Yeah. They're, they're nothing, all right, they're nothing but special. But no, you're just I wouldn't paying, go out to buy them. No, you're just paying for them. I think I prefer cheese. a mini cheddar as well because it's thicker. And slightly bigger. Yeah. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Now these are a real blast from mm -hmm. the past. Some friends of my parents were quite well to do. They were both doctors and they used to have these. It's back in the 70s, height of sophistication. Mm -hmm. These are your little cheese footballs. Cheese I've footballs. never seen, like I've never tried these before. No, these are really nostalgic for me. They're terribly expensive. For what they are they're, they're like almost like look like an ice cream wafer and then is it soft cheese inside try it mm, that's nice i like the flavor yeah, what the are they cheese. Mm. cheese footballs oh they're I could very eat weird those but they're nice till the cows come home mm, i like them yeah mm. Mm. Those are it's delicious. It's a proper tasty cheese spread in the middle as well. Mm, it is mm. really tasty. Mm. Okay. Um, right, so. Should we do the savoury nuts next? Yeah. Shuffle and pepperino, because we can so. compare the cheeses. Even though we're comparing footballs with posh mm. ones from Costco. Right. So you've seen these on the channel already when I did my Costco haul. This whole bag, which is. 900 grams, almost a kilo, 
was 14 pounds which actually is very expensive but when you look at how much you pay for a bag of nuts in the supermarket well this is only 200 and this is the popcorn one we're going to get to. Yeah, but let's have a look and see what we think of these savoury ones. And they've got truffles in and pecorino, which are expensive products. That's There we go. Here we go. So we've got a mixture. Mm. If I hold it up. Walnuts, Brazil You can see nuts. we've got a real mixture of nuts going mm. on in there. You have first Thank dips. You. I'm going for a walnut. Mmm. You can taste the truffle. I've gone for a cashew. Mmm. Oh, you can. Mmm. <coughs> I'm going for a cashew now. Oh, they're nice. Mmm. Well, I would say they're worth it. I think they're really worth it. So, forest feast. Forest feast. It's really hot to say. <laughs> I'm going to put truffle. So I know what I mean. Mmm. Truffle nuts. Okay. Those are very Moorish. I mean, really nuts Moorish. aren't very good for you, don't they, as well? Mm, mm. Some good fats. Okay, should we compare the cheese footballs with the forest mm. feast? Mm. Um, so I said nine for the cheese footballs. I've got nine and a half for the nostalgia. Okay. And they're, they're not what you normally buy. They're not what you normally buy. And the texture is interesting. I mm. kind of like that wafery texture because they're not really a crisp, but then they're not anything else. Mm. They're a bit weird. They're, they're different. Yeah. So in your kind of crisp smorgasbord, Mm. Um, that would be a good addition. I'm going to nick that up on. Oh, <laughs> We didn't put a lot in there. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I gave them a nine. And then the truffle nuts, I think I actually prefer. So I've gone 9.5 for them. I've given them a 10. Can't mm. fault them. Really nice. Can't fault them. And I think, although it's a big out there. Worth it. Worth, worth it. Worth every penny. Yeah. So what are we going to mm. go for next then? I have got two left. Sweets. Well, they're both oh, kind they're of both sweet. sweet. Okay, so... Let's have a break from the nuts. Oh no, yes, they're chocolate nut mix. Oh, Speculoos. Tesco Sweet Speculoos Popcorn. Now, um, my Dutch friends, they love Speculoos. Um, and I what did is have... Speculoos? Is it kind of sausage or bacon? No, it's like um, like a cinnamony flavour. Mm. So they have like Speculoos mm. biscuits that are like, and cakes, but they're mainly biscuits and they're like cinnamon and... Like spicy, mm. like spicy and nutmeg and stuff like that. Um, in Marks and Spencer moment, they're doing a speculoos latte. And it's really nice. I definitely recommend it. You learn yeah. something new every day. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I always think of my Dutch friends because I had to ask. So it's these, isn't it? Here. Yeah. They look nice. They look like a normal kind of We should have actually, popcorn. what we should have done is held the bowl up for each one for you to see. We failed there. Mm. We I'm failed sorry. miserably. We'll know better next time. Mm. And comment down below if you've enjoyed having Katie on the channel. Maybe it's a regular thing. Mm, I don't mind future. coming and um, trying snacks. <laughs> Speculoos. Mm. Mm. Oh, and they're Tesco, aren't they? They're Tesco. But not Tesco, mine it's just Tesco. Common Tesco. Yeah. Mm. Toffee's quite overpowering, isn't it? I can taste the aftertaste, the kind of mixed spice, but... I think you might get sick of these very quickly. Mm. I wouldn't initially have these and think, oh, Christmas. No. Although there is a cinnamon aftertaste. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Right, so... Next. I'm going to give... Are we giving it a score? I'm giving it a score. Mm. We can share after we've done this one. So these are so chocolate. This is our last one, Bailey's. actually. Bailey's. If you please know, because we've been on absolutely ages. <laughs> chocolate and caramelised nuts with a hint of Bailey's flavour and salted toffee popcorn. So it's going to be interesting to compare with the other one. It was overly toffee, wasn't it, that popcorn? Mm. Not speckly. So let's give them a go and let's see. You see, I, I was drawn in by the Bailey's. So I'm going to go for, a, this looks like it could be a chocolate covered nut. Did you hold that bit up? Oh, I don't know if I did. Oh, can't get a staff these days. Baby. These are my little bowls that I showed. I think it was on this channel. Mm, they're um, really nice. H&M Home ones. Oh! Mm. Oops, spillage. Oh, they're very toffee, that popcorn. Mm. That nut. Mm. What, the Brazil nut? Mm. Oh my goodness, that's crunchy. Those are different. Mm. 
Was I that a walnut it. you just had? No, I had a Brazil one. They're very um, vanilla y. Got a real mm. vanilla taste. Which makes you think of kind of the Baileys. They've got a bit creamy. The nuts, the chocolate covered nuts. Oh. Real hint of Baileys. Mm. They're very rich, aren't they? The toffee popcorn's really toffee. Oh, mm. I don't think I could eat many of these though. They're very rich. They're nice though. They were quite expensive. Were they? How much were they a pack? I'm interested. I don't know. I'd have to do a Google well, search. But what's that? 140 grams. grams. I bet because I bet it must be three or four quid a pack. I reckon, they, I reckon they were 350 or something mm. like that. But it's Christmas special. Mm. The chocolate nuts are lovely. lovely. The chocolate nuts are really nice. Because the chocolate's nice. You know sometimes the chocolate's mm. a bit dodgy on chocolate nuts. Okay. Right. Hmm. Okay. I'm right. I'm done. Yeah. Right. I feel like so. we've done a test now. Right. <clears throat> Go on. Spec loose. What did you give? Six now. Six. Just. I'll, if, if you hadn't told me about the spec loose bit, I would have just thought it was normal popcorn with I a could, little bit of spice. I could definitely taste the cinnamon. I could taste it afterwards, but not when I was eating it, really. It was more an aftertaste. Mm. Um, and then the Bailey's nuts mix. I think they're yummy. 8.5 they're a bit rich because mm. i could eat more of your normal nuts like yeah. the truffle and pecorino the savory i'm more savory person yeah i could eat more of these Ooh. than i could for something these. a bit different they're nice something a bit different if you don't want a pudding mm. i think they'd be really nice and also you know if you had a cheese board it'd be really nice having a little bit yeah board. a bit and of sweet with a sweet wine or mm. a, um well, like an a sherry. Aust Australian port or, or mm. um, a nice sherry, as yeah. Katie says. What have you I given think, them? I oh. think this you could have all year round. That's the truffle one. Whereas I think this is festive. Yeah, what did you give them? I've given, so I gave the Tesco popcorn six and a half and yep. I gave the Bailey's chocolates nine and a half. Oh, so, so much. rank rank your top three then. Okay, so when I go away from Ashley's house, I'll rank the three that I won't forget that I'd actually go out by myself. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Right. So go on then. What, okay. what's, your, what's your. Do them in. Yeah, do them mm. top down if you want. Mm. I think I'm going to have to change. I've just, I've just missed one off. So, I think I'm going to go, so originally I put a truffle one at the top, truffle nuts, truffle and pecorino yeah. nut mix at the top, forest bees, because I do think they're something mm. completely out there that you mm. wouldn't necessarily mm. try. Mm. And also, if I've gone to Costco and seen the cost for like £14, £15, whatever it was, I would not have paid that. Mm. So that's something I wouldn't have done. But now I've tried them, I'd totally go out and buy them. Mm. And I think they're really, really nice. And because they're savoury, I would eat those. I prefer the savoury, I think. Then I did put number two, my second favourite, was the Baileys. But then I was thinking, actually, I know what I'm like. Because they're very rich, I don't think I'd eat them quickly. But maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. So then I put, when I was thinking about every day, not just for Christmas, <laughs> I went pigs and blankets, walkers. Because I think they're really nice. And then I did think, oh, I missed off the footballs, the cheese footballs. So, yeah, so I think I'd have to have a top four. So one truffle mix, nut mix, then the Walkers, Pigs and Blankets, then these, the football ones, and then the Baileys, because I'm more of a savoury person than a sweet person. So that's mine. Well, top 10 out of 10 for me was the truffle mix. Mm. They were yummy. And then nine and a half was the Baileys. Mm -hmm. And again, nine and a half with the football. So again, really unusual. Yeah. I think, oh, that could have been a disaster. Nearly there. not dropped the It's all right, I'll look after it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think though, as a, as a kind of surprise, everything mm. else is all a bit ordinary. Yeah. But as a kind mm. of 
try it just to see what you think. I'd go for these. The Christmas pudding. They're affordable mm. and just something a little bit different. Any yeah. takeaway surprises for you, Katie, before we round this off? Because um, we've been a long time. I, I think I'm quite shocked the finest because normally when you see one of these posh ones you think limited edition and you think you know finest oh i'm gonna buy it because they're really you know really nice top i love the texture of the crinkly ones but the flavor you've you've just got to hand it to walkers yeah and obviously they're the cheaper ones so i was shocked and also cheese footballs who knew and where they've been in my <laughs> life <laughs> like just, so you yeah. should have been a child of the 70s. And, you, uh, you know, we've known each other for a long time, actually, and you've been keeping these from me, so. What's yeah. it say in the back there? Oh, mm. look, there's even a little thing that you can do an activity. Oh. And then, if you wanted to really be crafty, you could cut that robin out and stick it on a card. You could, anyway. Or you could use this for pens or something. Multitasking. We know? have been way, 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 way Thank too us. long. Please give a thumbs up, like, share, Thank subscribe, you. tell all your friends, and we'll get definitely get Katie back on the channel, yeah? <laughs> uh -huh. Take care. Bye now.